Boom. Welcome back to another exciting edition of Murphy's Mathletics. Yeah, that's right. We're on that mathlete grind right now. With all the sports canceled right now, why not get on that mathletics grind? Hmm? Gotta be on some grind. Get on that grind. Stay on your workout grind, but also be on the math grind. All right. So in this video, we're going to talk about um, polynomials some more. And we're going to talk about operations with functions as well as composite functions. <clears throat> I know it sounds thrilling. Please temper your enthusiasm. Um, I don't want you to burn out too soon. All right. So let's stay focused. Let's get after it. Um, let's have some fun with it, right? I mean, got to. Okay, so we're going to be looking, like I said, at operations with functions. Okay, so um, for example, if you have f of x equals 3x minus 7, and then you have g of x equals 13 minus 2x, and we want to find f of x plus g of x, right? It's pretty simple, right? We just take what's here and what's here, and we add them, right? So we get 3x minus 7 plus 13 minus 2x. We combine like terms, right? So we have our x's, right? And we have our constants. So we end up with x plus 6, right? And so the new function can be noted as f plus g x. Okay? So, I mean, it's a little bit more, it looks more complicated than it actually is. All right, so let's go ahead and wipe that clean and get here's just all the operations right for some we're adding it we get f plus g equals f of x plus g of x all right if we got the difference we're subtracting them we have f minus g, right? We're just subtracting, right? And that equals f of x minus g of x. Product, when we're multiplying, it's f times g times x. equals f of x times g of x and then quotient if we're multiplying f divided by g times x equals okay so that looks pretty good. Let's work on some practice problems with those just so we can kind of get a feel, right? So if we're given, this where it gets kind of crazy, if we're given f of x equals x squared minus 8x plus 4, g of x equals 4x minus 3, and h of x equals x plus 2, right? And we want to find each function, okay? So, I know, this is so exciting, you can barely contain yourself, but just try and relax and focus because I don't want you guys to get too crazy, all right? So, if we're asked to find f plus g, right, we're just simply asked to add f plus g, right? So, we get x squared minus 8x plus 4 plus... 4x minus 3, right? x squared stays the same. We get minus 4x plus 1. There's our answer. Right? Nothing too crazy. 
okay? Same thing if we're asked to subtract or multiply it. Right, we just multiply the two functions. So if we get, if we see h times g x, right, we take x plus 2, that's our h, and we multiply it by 4x minus 3, right? And we're just going to distribute, right? Pass not that Halloween candy, right? Back when we were allowed to go outside and interact with people. And we end up with 4x squared plus 5x minus 6, right? Just distributing. Okay, now, let's look at some more practice problems. I know you guys are super psyched. More practice problems. I know. I know. Trust me. It's just as exciting for me. All right. Now, what about if it says f plus g, and then in here for x, it says negative 2. What do I do? Huh. Huh. It's a good question. Well, we just solve, right? So we plug in. So if it says f is negative 2, remember, that's what we're plugging in for x. All right, so we got 2 times negative 2 squared minus negative 2 minus 12, right? So we got negative 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. All right, we subtract the negative, we add, add 2 minus 12, we're left with negative 2, right? Then we do the same thing for g. We plug in 2 for x, right? So we get negative 2. And just so you guys know, f of x in this one equals 2x squared minus x minus 12. And g of x equals x plus 7. So we plug in negative 2 plus 7, we get 5. Now we take this one and this one and we add them. So negative 2 plus 5 equals 3. There's our final answer. All right, so we just plug in whatever they plugged in for x, right, into all our other x's, okay, and then solve. So that one's not that, that difficult. Um, let's look at composite, comp uh, compositions. Um, of functions. This one's a little bit more difficult, but nothing crazy. Um, so if we have um, f of x and g of x, we can do compositions of them, right? And so this is, we could say that f times g of x can also be written as, I don't know, lots of parentheses in there. Looks crazy. Don't you worry. We'll figure it out. Okay, so let's, let's look at an example. Um, let's say we're given that f of x equals x to the third plus 8, g of x equals x minus 1, and h of x equals 5x minus 3. And then we are asked okay, the first thing we do, right, is we take g, right, we take what g is, and we plug it in for x. Okay, we plug it in for x into the f of x equation, right? So it looks like this. Um, we have, we take our g of x, which is x minus 1, and we plug it in for the x right there, right? So we have f of x equals x, right? So in here for this x, right, we're putting x minus 1. So it looks like this, meaning we replace all the x's with that right there. That one right there. Okay? So we do x minus 1 plus 3, right? Plus 8. Okay? And then we go ahead and solve that out. 
right? Remember, this is like saying x minus 1 times x minus 1 times x minus 1 plus 8, right? So we go ahead and distribute this one. Take it one thing at a time. Okay, that ends up giving us x squared minus 2x plus 1 times x minus 1 plus 8, right? Now we have to distribute the three terms out this way, okay? So we do x squared times x gives us x cubed, right? Then we have x squared minus 2x squared plus 2x plus x minus 1 plus 8. Okay, then we simplify it all, right? We only have one of these, right? We have two of those, right? We have a negative one and a negative two gives us a negative three x squared, right? We have two of these, which gives us <coughs> three x, all right, then we have negative 1 and positive 8 gives us negative 7. There is our final answer. All right, so it's a lot of work, and it, it seems more complicated than it actually is. Just make sure you distribute. Um, so, like I said, it it's super exciting. It's so much fun. Um, I, I'm honestly jealous you guys get to have all this fun learning this and and doing this work. It's you guys are so lucky um, If you have any questions leave them in the comments if not enjoy it have fun. I'm out <laughs>